All right, it is 1.45, still March the 24th, 2022. Hope everybody out there is doing well. Told you I'm taking my time driving back. You know, there's no rush. I was going to look on everything in the back. I think I'll do it after I'm done here. <coughs> Make sure everything's setting up right. Um, I'm sure you guys are running across the same thing I am. You know, whenever we talk to anybody, try to share anything with anybody. Um, they just kind of like... Like chuck a laugh thinking it's conspiracy theory. You know, they don't want to believe anything that we're saying. They think it's like, you know, like we're a little bit over the edge. And you guys, we see how near this is. How near it is. Where, uh, I've seen how people are going to be fleeing from all the mayhem, chaos, everything. don't want to believe it. Anyhow. It's almost like you don't know what to say to them anymore. You know, I mean, you tell them the same thing we've always been saying. You need to repent. Turn to the Lord. You know. <laughs> like yesterday I found this one person that said uh, she knew we are in the end time. She knew not to do this. But her friends were all trying to talk her into this. You know, they see things are getting evil, but they have no understanding besides that. I mean, none. No understanding. And if you don't read the scriptures, you're not going to have any. If you listen to people that say, all you got to do is believe and that's it, then they're not going to think they need to read the scriptures. And that's why we're in a time. See, that's what they said in the last days. People, have, people having itchy ears will... Uh, find people and uh, be listen, unsound doctrine. You know, no longer uh, knowing what the truth is. And when all these things come about, what are they going to do? It says no fearful person will enter the kingdom of heaven. Wow. And Jesus said many are going to come up to him and say, Lord, Lord, didn't we this? Didn't we that? And these are going to be people that yeah, you know, it sounds to me like they did that, confessed Jesus as their Lord and Savior. And they're going to say, didn't we do this? Didn't we lead many people, you know, to to you? You know, we told them all, you know, what? Told them what they like to hear, you know, tried to make it an easy way. All they got to do is believe in you, they'd make it. And Jesus said, I will liken you to a wise person that hears these sayings of mine. Can you imagine now if you spent three and a half years working, doing something, and I, you know, a lot of people don't think teaching and preaching is doing anything uh, today. Um, they think you're trying to do works and stuff like that. But no, it ain't works. What it is is trying to get people to understand the importance of this. You know, a lot of people think the date setting, you know, uh-uh. The Lord, the day and hour, I don't know when civil unrest is going to break out, but I see it coming. I see it escalating. I have an idea. It's going to be probably through the gas, groceries. The, it could be the economy when it crashes. Um, I don't know, but I do know they're, they're going to totally hate us, and we're going to be separating from them. And I've seen when the police, when the mayhem starts, that's when those who are going will be taken. You know? So, it's rough, you guys. It's rough. You know? And what, you know, like I said, it is true. All who confess Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior that believe, believe that he came here in the flesh, took our sins to the cross, and it says you will be saved. You know? That's one part of the message right there. Now, if you say you really believe, you know, what did he say? He says there's many that will confess with their mouths. But their hearts, you know, are far from me, you know. And you can't, you know, you can't still be friends of the world. Those who are born again, 
overcome the world, you know? And uh, a lot of people don't consider any of these things, man. You know, and all these things are important. I still got, I don't know, close to like seven and a half hours drive, but I'm not gonna drive at all right now. It's like it's going on one one thirty now. I'll probably get drive till sometime late tonight. Pull over someplace, get a little sleep, you know. Sleep in the front seat. I'll be back in the cabin tomorrow, you know. And it's it's there's nothing wrong with taking a drive and getting out sometimes. That's what I did. Took a drive got out and actually picked up some real raw orange honey and uh, it's just a little drive you know 500 and something 580 miles and, uh, and you turn around and you do it again you know there's nothing wrong with getting out and doing that the time's coming where we won't be able to do that when the gas gets up to five six dollars a gallon won't be doing that, you know, be barely just driving down the hill. Sometimes we like to drive into Knoxville and, uh, you know, do something different, you know, go to a different grocery store, maybe go out and have breakfast or lunch or something like that. But when gas gets up to those high prices like that, probably won't be doing it, you know, because it's expensive. Even right now, you know, I'm like on this long drive, I'm using regular unleaded, uh, which saves a little bit on gas, but that's still like almost four dollars a gallon. <coughs> but you guys, that's nothing for what's about to happen. But the, the thing that's, you know, you try to do, you just try to tell as many people that can receive it, and it's almost like none. You know, and you meet people that say they know and they are awake, but they're hanging out. They're hanging with people that are trying to get them to, you know, defile their temple. You know, a little while ago, I just met some guy that was telling me, um, it's not what goes in the body. It's what comes out the heart, comes out the mouth. That's what defiles them. It ain't, it ain't what they do here. I've had them all. I said, sir, I said, the scripture you're talking about, it was when they were complaining, saying they don't wash their hands when they're eating. And Jesus said, what goes in the mouth goes out the draft. That doesn't defile. It's what comes out the heart and out the mouth that defiles. So you see, you got, and this guy said they go to Bible studies and, you know, they're reading scriptures. And he wanted to argue with me about this nonstop, how he was right. And I said, sir, I said, you don't even have that scripture right. And uh, I looked at the lady and I said, this is why we have a problem in America today. Because people are twisting scripture. And uh, it's like they said, they come at you with a different doctrine. But it's not a different doctrine. They twist things. And this guy really believed he was right. It's not what goes in you. It's what comes out your heart. You know? And see, what he left out was, it's, what, it's not what goes in the mouth that defiles you. Because that goes out the draft. Goes in and comes out. One end to the other end. That's doesn't defile you and and what defiles you is what comes out of your heart through your mouth is what defiles you but see he was making it sound like you know it's only thing that defiles you is what comes out your heart not what comes goes in your body you know so if you got people out there teaching that that's a different doctrine it's not the Holy Spirit indoctrination it's and it's the spirit that's in them that's doing it, okay? <clears throat> so that was a new one for me today, you know, hearing that. You know, and it's bad enough, like I said, the OSAS, um, all they do is they tell you what you like to hear. 
but they're not warning people about what scripture warns. There's an importance. There, it, it's very important because you see, many people are going to fall because of that. You know, and we do what we do because somebody's going to have to do it. You know, and we got to stand up against it. You know, and it's obvious this guy says he's in a Bible study, but yet he's saying it's not what goes in the body. Well, he should have said it's not what goes in the mouth that goes out the draft. It's what comes out the heart, out the mouth. But see, he took the mouth part off and uh, said it's the body. What goes in the body is not what defiles the person. Well, what Jesus said, what, what goes in the mouth goes out the draft. But he totally twisted it, made it crooked. And as Paul said, they're coming at you with a different doctrine, but it's not a different doctrine. In other words, they've taken what was Holy Spirit inspired and they've changed the meaning. They've changed the word. So really, literally, they've changed the word. God bless you guys. I love yous. Always be checking, you know, testing all spirits. And we test them by the word of God. That was a new one for me today. God bless you guys. I love you. It's in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior.